today, Rosie. The other day, I had to go to the post office. I had to ship something out for one of my clients down in Texas. I had my little four-year-old with me, and he was popping around, doing his normal four-year-old stuff, chattering with me. And as I walk up to the counter, I put my box there, ready to go. The person who's working there starts to weigh it. And my four-year-old starts pulling at my dress. Mommy, 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 can I go to the treasure box? Yeah, buddy, yeah, just go. He knows where it's at, so he runs over there. He's doing his thing, and I'm trying to pay. Two seconds later, he's back. He's pulling on my dress again. Mommy, mommy, I got one. And he has two lollipops from the treasure box. I look at him, he looks back up at me, and I say, buddy, you know you're only supposed to take one. Mom, buddy, you know the rules. <sighs> okay. And he runs back off. I'm on work mode. And all of a sudden, the woman at the register looks at me and she says, I just want to say thank you. And I kind of look at her and it shakes me back into reality a bit. And then the teller next to her says, thank you. We don't see parents doing this very often. You're teaching your child honor and integrity. Earlier that day, I had been working on my computer I was just telling Mike that I have a lot of clients who wait till last minute to design their high school senior portrait and graduation announcements. So I have serious deadlines to meet. So I'm sitting there and he's bouncing and trying to get my attention and I'm feeling guilty because I'm not paying attention to him, but I'm also feeling the stress of having to make sure I make deadlines. Work-life balance is such a big thing that women these days have to deal with. If you're a wife, you have to make sure you're a good wife and keep the house clean. If you're a mom, you want to make sure that you keep your attention on your children. You want to be Pinterest worthy. You want to make sure that you're doing everything you can to make sure your children are growing and thriving and being good productive citizens, but you also have this desire to want to be successful in your own right. I've been working with my business for about six years. And now that I have people coming to me for advice, I often have to juggle the question of, how do you do it? How do you get this work-life balance? And I usually stop and I say, whoa, whoa, whoa. Think about that word you just used, balance. Is there ever anything that's balanced in your life? And they kind of stop and they say, and I want you to stop thinking like that. And I want you to think work-life management. You are never going to be perfect in all areas of your life at once. It's not going to happen. If you're working a full-time job and putting your child in daycare, you're going to feel some struggle with that. If you're staying at home and you're trying to be just a stay-at-home mom, just a stay-at-home mom, you're going to feel like sometimes you're not thriving and helping towards giving the family the money it needs. If you're trying to juggle work from home stuff, then you have that struggle as well. You're never going to have it, so you're going to have management. Four years ago, I had a breaking point with my husband with the work-life management thing. I was totally out of whack. I had been working really hard, making everybody else's needs met. Needs, needs met. <laughs> and I had been going and basically having my husband take the kids as soon as he walks in the door from work, and then I was jetting out all for $150 a session. I was losing time with my family. I was missing soccer games with my kids. I was losing that relationship that I needed with my husband. So we finally sat down and we, are going, we needed to come up with a plan. And this is my first suggestion for you. Calendar. For women who have left the corporate world and now are trying to be a work at home mom, I know this is something that's kind of, it's not something you want to hear, but you need to calendar. Calendar first, your family, that's your priority. If you have to take your kids back and forth to school, make sure you have that on the calendar first, including commute times. If your kids have soccer, put soccer practice on there. If you have to go to church, and that's a big thing, put church on there. Make sure you have your priorities established.
established first. When you need to go ahead and schedule in work, you will know where you have really feasible chunks of time that you can schedule work in there. Number two, take time for yourself. Make sure that at the beginning of the day, you need to wake up 30 minutes before your kids, you get yourself some coffee, or you work out, or you give yourself a shower. Gosh, a shower. But for all of us, that's a struggle. Give yourself some time so that when you're healthy in your mind, you're healthy when you become a servant leader to others, whether it's in your family, or in a business, or both. Three, learn to say no. As women, we tend to feel that need to say yes to everybody. We tend to feel that we have to go ahead and accept every opportunity that's thrown our way because we never know when it's going to be the last or you're afraid of hurting somebody's feelings. Put rules on yourself. Say no. Respect your own time and your family's time and your business's time so that when you do have an opportunity that is amazing that comes your way, you have your schedule ready. You have your family and life open because you're happy and you are open to knowing that yes, you can accept that into your life. Work-life balance is not possible and I want women to forgive themselves for never being able to achieve it because nobody really has. But work-life management is. So the next time when you go to the post office and your kid does something naughty and you correct them and somebody notices, you're not so caught off guard when they say something really cool about how you're parenting your kids. You're doing something to make your children better. You can just look at them in the face 